Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nayeli and A Y to the E N Y. <laughs> you already know what it is. So today we are on for a new video. I'm going for some acrylic nails. Um, yeah, I did a full set. I wanted to have my nails on, but then when I did, I had a react reaction to the product. So, anyways, took it off. <laughs> but yeah, today we are going for some acrylic set using some transfer foil. Transfer foil. <laughs> and um yeah that i got on aliexpress like i told you in the previous video of the little old i did like last week you can check all the material that you need if you want and then get it yourself so i was going to do with a 3xl nails but i end up cutting them very short and i'll be showing you how i'm doing it you guys very simple So with this nail you don't really need to uh, buff the inside because it's already done it's the nail by Una gel on Amazon but I did anyway so you can hear very nicely and um yeah I went ahead and I tried to do a little long nails but it was impossible to work with like you can see so I had to cut it down and I went for a like square kind of shape and it was pretty I actually love it but I had to cut it down actually i was using the guillotine a little wrong you have to you have to face you when you cut the nail so you can see what you're doing but that's what i did and then once i was ready i went ahead and worked with the nails i always buff my nails with the nail file and the buffer so the application can be you know smooth if i don't prep my nails but i didn't prep my nail with this set i just went ahead and put the primers for the application but usually if you want to pop it off you put some base coat on your nails and then you start working so it can come off easier if you pop your nails like I do so that's what I did and I was ready to start the application Then once we were done with everything and the tralala, I went ahead and applied my dehydrator from Savilene and I went put the primer once I finish once it's dry because that's how the uh, nails going to adhere to your, to your nails is like bonding and uh, yeah it's acid free because I'm kind of allergic and I'm still kind of allergic to this acid too so I need to find something a little bit more efficacious and uh, yeah then I use the nail foil glue from Amazon is called eye gel is very 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 sticky I really love it but I don't know it failed me this time I, I couldn't walk around with the long nails so all I do is apply this uh, nail foil gel because you have to cure it I apply a little good amount you cure it in the lip it's a UV lamp or lead lamp for 60 seconds and then you start applying your foil it will stick immediately and then you carefully uh, you know take it off your nails because that's what I did like I was touching it to see how sticky it was then I rub it you gotta make sure you apply it nicely lay flat and you rub 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 then you take it off that's where I messed up but it was still pretty
And since I was going for a full set, I went ahead and did the rest of camera, but this is what it looked like. I go ahead and do a little ombre, because that's what I wanted to do. But I think I should have just went ahead and used a pinker color because this little mix that I did, the personalized acrylic, was a little bit, you know, um, I don't know, it, I had mixed feelings on it. So I went ahead and um, add a little bit more darker color to the brown that I already had. And all I'm doing is, you know, I'm using some, I don't think it's acid free because I had a little allergic reaction to it. So if you see me dragging my acrylic is because like, I like it when it's running like that because I don't want to waste my product. So when it's running, I just build a little, you know, not a big apex line so I can pop it off if I want to throw it away very nicely and easily. So that's what I do and you can see I just go ahead and dig in my supply and get another brown to, you know, kind of like darken a little bit the nails. So that's what I'm doing and make sure you clean your brush every time you pick up a bead and build your nail because it will mess up this brush. And I really like this brush. It's just a little too big. And like you can see in the other video, I got a smaller one so my beads can be a little bit more, you know, consistent. So yeah, I have, I'll have to invest in a better brush, but this is doing the job. And then yeah, that's what I'm doing for all the nails. It's a simple application. I'll let you watch that. Then once you're done with the color and you're satisfied, you start to cap it. And when I say cap, <laughs> is you know encapsulate them with a clear color so you can you know file and make no mess. Make sure you clean the side so it can be flush. Like I tell you, the camera is kind of like far, and the chair is kind of low, so I couldn't really see what I was doing. And I didn't have my glasses on, so I was freestyling, quite frankly. But make sure you clean the side so you don't irritate your cuticle area. As you can see, I was already getting a little bit irritated around the cuticles. So yeah, that's all I did and I was ready to start fighting. So after the application, uh, I was waiting on it to dry as you can see and to know how your acrylic is dry, you can use your little brush or your nail file and tap. You're going to hear a hollow sound on the nails and that's meaning that it's cured and ready to go and you side the filing. So I'm using the Yafex um, nail drill that I got from them and you can get it on Amazon. Very nice, very very nice. It was stripping today. but. 
<laughs> anyways i work with it like that every time then i crisp in the surroundings of the nails make sure you be careful with your critical oil always and you'll be ready to go So once we are done cleaning, filing, etc., you go with the top coat. I could have done my nail hard before, but I went ahead and kept my nails with a top coat because I had babies, <laughs> so I had to take care of them. So it was a little pause between days. I finished this set in two days, so yeah, that's what you can see right now. I'm using Mama Cut and um, Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. To, you know seal it very nicely and then the following day I went ahead and did the nail heart I am using the bitter gel nail rhinestones glue and I have to look for a bigger bottle because this glue is life you guys it's stuck and it doesn't come up period <laughs> anyways so yeah I went ahead and freestyle a little jewelry um you know different color I got these jewelry from Aliexpress also and some of them come from Amazon the bigger stone but the rest come from Aliexpress the small ones that you can see in the video and then yeah I just freestyled and when I was happy I left it like that so afterwards I go ahead and top coat again just to seal the surrounding and I hurt myself with the nails because it was kind of you know sticking out and yeah that was that was it you guys <laughs> my little LV touch in the wall Then once you're done, you start with the critical oil. I got this critical oil from Madame Glam. Uh, they sent it to me like a little while back. And yeah, you nourish your critical, you guys. Always, always, always. Make sure you rub, rub, rub the critical. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching, for coming back every time. I appreciate you a lot for making my life easier <laughs> uh, doing nails because I am bored sometimes. So yeah. This is very nice. Thank you so much. And we're growing. I appreciate you. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe and come back. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you always, always, always for the support. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.